International Media TV. Television that listens to you. Hi, I'm Johnny Burrell. Welcome to the program. The Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce celebrated its 12th year annual luncheon and awards at the Sension Greek Orthodox Cathedral in the beautiful hills of Oakland. Master guitarist Terence Brewer and company livened the chosen room where the event took place. Newly appointed president and CEO of the chamber, Spencer Gillette, joined by her board of directors, colleagues and supporters, promised attendees and sponsors that Oakland will always be, quote, open for business. One of the many reasons Spencer was selected as chamber president, Spencer Gillette was selected as a president and CEO because she had such high qualifying credentials, a lot of energy, and we felt like that she would be a little bit better than we were at highlighting the growth in, in, in women businesses. The luncheon's theme was your partner in prosperity. It was echoed that prosperity was forthcoming to all companies, businesses, and individuals choosing to do business in and with Oakland. Recognition and awards were given to some who had done just that. The focus and importance of education and collaborating with education leaders was addressed by special guest Oakland School District Superintendent Antoine Wilson and keynote speaker, CEO of University Now, Gene Wade. You know, this is so wonderful, Mayor Kwan, that you're here uh, at the Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce. What did you think? Well, you know, I've been coming for years, back to the days, even when um, I think I was still on the school board and making the transition to city council. The chamber clearly represents, um, I believe, growingly the homegrown and wide range of businesses. I think when it first started, our mentor sort of big corporate guys started it, but what I've been really enjoying seeing is that a lot of now our medium size and our homegrown businesses are also in the leadership, as well as our education leaders, and I think that's very critical. You know, Oakland is one of the cities in the country that people look for for a different view and we are lucky enough to have an Asian chamber, a Hispanic chamber, and an African American chamber which are increasingly working together with the other smaller chambers in the city to really represent um, our booming economy and um, I particularly look forward to and am working with the African American chamber to make sure that as we grow, particularly in the neighborhoods, that businesses really play a part in getting some of this prosperity, right? And so the, the Oakland Hire, the Hire Oakland, and particularly now that we're moving down on International Boulevard and on San Pablo and Telegraph, I particularly want to see more of our local merchants begin to develop thriving mid-sized businesses and because that's where a lot of our growth is people are still waiting for some downtown shopping but the reality is we put in about a million point four square feet of retail in the city and it's mostly been in the smaller shops up and down our boulevards and our corridors and hopefully they will increasingly and better serve every neighborhood so every neighborhood has some neighborhood shopping has a place where you can walk to the cashier check or to um, buy groceries. Well, one of the themes uh, from today's luncheon seemed to be education. What uh, comments do you have about that? Well, you know, because I am the mayor, like, I have a target on my back. So it's, it's hard for me sometimes. I try to keep it positive and talk about the growth in the city. If I spend time either trying to counter or often correct really bad facts about the city, I probably wouldn't have any time to talk about what's happening. So I think it's very similar to what happened today in the Chamber poll, where I've known, been tracking the polls for about a year, that for the first time, and probably since Elihu's been mayor, more people think the 
the city is going in the right direction than in the wrong direction, and that people are particularly seeing the growth in the economy and public safety. And so I'd like to, well, this is the way I've been ending my, my, my forums, it's like, so if I'm going to take heat for all the bad things that have been wrong at the city for the last decade, I want to take a little credit for the good things that are happening, and I'm thinking we're going to have some really good announcements in the next few months. Great. You know, in terms, uh, is it is education a key to business prosperity, in your opinion? I think it's a key to the hope of the city in general. You know, my heart, and at, and at heart, I'm still probably a school board member, and that's why as mayor, um, particularly in the second term, I really want to focus on that pipeline between the high schools into good paying jobs. You know, America should really be much more like Europe. We should be looking at educating people to 14th grade, that is, either through an apprenticeship that gets them a good paying blue collar job or through community college that can get them a lot of very good jobs in business and healthcare. And so that's my goal because the unemployment rate of 35% in East and West Oakland is unacceptable and the dropout rate of 50% African American Latino boys is unacceptable. We can do better and I think if we build these pipelines, as I did this summer by creating 2100, that's the most summer jobs we've had since the 60s, 2100 jobs for young people, for high schools all over the city. Um, and if Measure N passes, we'll have even more. That that is the pipeline for a lot of young people. I can't tell you, in every group that I met with at the end of the summer, at least a handful of young people would stand up and say, They'd never been out of their neighborhood. They didn't know these kinds of jobs existed, that it changed their perspective on what their dreams are. And so I think it's no coincidence that we had 2,000 jobs and we had the most peaceful summer in the city in a long time. Thank you very much, Mayor. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're at the 12th annual Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce luncheon, and it is such an honor to have our representative Barbara Lee here with us today. And I just want some comments from you. What, how significant do you think it is for a business and education to converge and merge, as it's indicated in this luncheon today? Well, first I have to congratulate uh, the African American Chamber for its unbelievable track record and for what it has done in this community, and also congratulate congratulate our new president and CEO Spencer. She's going to do a phenomenal job. The board, the staff, they have been a remarkable chamber throughout the years and now it's time to move to the next level. I mean, talk about creating business opportunities and entrepreneurs. You're talking about training and education for young people and you're talking about a pathway into the business community and so the African American Chamber gets it. It's comprehensive in its approach to business and as a former business owner myself, I know the many challenges that the black business community faces but the chamber is there thank God and I want to just congratulate and salute them again you know I saw a couple of young people that uh, were here how did you feel when you saw those uh, young people from uh, Oakland here at this luncheon today well I felt very good because they came up to me and they told me their name and they say and I am going to college and they must have been like five and six years old and so they give me a lot of hope there's a lot of good news in Oakland and it's the young people it's the chamber it's the jobs that are created created out of small businesses and African-American businesses that we all should salute and be proud of. There's a lot of good news here. And speaking of good news, you recently spoke to the uh, faith-based community and you were sharing some of the, uh, the money, federal dollars that you had recently brought into Oakland. So tell us a little bit about that. Sure, when it comes to making sure our young people have STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math, I work very hard with our community colleges and our school districts and the tech industry to bring in millions of dollars for STEM education for young people. Also, it's important to bring in money for crime prevention and for community-oriented police and given what we're dealing with here in, in Oakland. But the crime rate is going down, but we have a lot to, uh, of work to do, and so the federal involvement is essential. So I work as an appropriator each and every day to try to find every dime I can find for my district. Thank you so very much. It seems like our program is starting again. We appreciate your being here. Thank you. We're here at the Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce and we happen to have the deputy mayor with us here and just want to get your perspective on um, education and business. That seemed to be the theme of the luncheon this year. 
Uh, first of all, Jackie, thank you for uh, taking the time to talk about this really important subject in the chamber. Uh, I, I'm so uh, excited about this emphasis on education uh, and business, and particularly the fact that they're going after young people at, at, a, at early ages to try to help them prepare you know, for careers uh, in business. It makes so much sense. Uh, also, so many of the businesses here are participating in scholarship efforts. That, uh, uh, that are commendable. And so Oakland, I believe, is, um, is really making progress. It's on the map uh, today uh, as a thriving, uh, growing, uh, you know, effective community you know, for our young people. And businesses are growing uh, at a tremendous rate. We have, we have more than 200 new restaurants in the city. Uh, the economy is growing, so City Hall is, uh, you know, several years ago we had a $50 million deficit. Now we have a $23 million surplus uh, because in revenue, because of a growing business. And so the Chamber's contribution has made a great difference. Well, that's really great. Um, the point that you were saying, uh, Oakland going from deficit to surplus, is really marvelous. And the theme of having a well-educated workforce seems to be at the foundation of uh, the chamber and some of the efforts it's going to be making. I think, I think that's right. And, and what we're finding is that Oakland is ripe for a positive growth. When you look at the cost of living in San Francisco, people are moving into Oakland, uh, people that have been in Oakland for years, we're doing everything we can to develop housing opportunities so that we, so that the community itself uh, can continue this beautiful growth, but it, it can grow with people that have made historic investments in our city and who have families that moved here years years ago. And so this is just a wonderful place. We, you know, we right now there's about 125 different languages spoken in the city. Our school district is making tremendous progress. Uh, we had a, a great presentation from our new superintendent uh, today. And so I am uh, very encouraged by this. Uh, in every aspect of what's happening in Oakland, uh, it's extremely positive. And I, and I'm very encouraged by that. And being someone who was born in the city of Oakland uh, and raised here, I, uh, I'm very excited. And speaking of new things, uh, the chamber has a new president in Spencer Gillette. Well, Spencer Gillette is, uh, is uh, uh, really a, a, an addition that the chamber uh, is very proud of. And this community uh, uh, welcomes her uh, in every way. She is a very successful businesswoman, uh, but she's a thoughtful person, uh, very creative. And she brings such spirit to the chamber that I think her leadership is going to be invaluable uh, going forward. And I know the chamber is going to grow as a result of her, uh, of her appointment uh, and acceptance of, of this responsibility. Besides, this luncheon was very successful, and the mission, I think, now has a great captain. Great. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. I am here with the newly appointed president and CEO of the Oakland African American Chamber of Commerce. What a day today. Over 400 people gathered to uh, honor the community, to honor education, to honor the great new beginning that you've started. What are you feeling? I am feeling exhilarated. I am so proud. I'm so honored, Jackie. There's so many wonderful things that started, as I said earlier, here in Oakland. And it's really come full circle for me, from corporate America to nonprofit. And it's just a real privilege to be running this organization and working with such great people, yourself included. You know, uh, it, what was really thrilling to me is the realization of how important education is. Yes. And I understand understand that you had young people involved in more than one way. Absolutely. We forget about first graders, kindergartens, and the first word we wrote and how to stay within the line. And so this is just an example from the kindergarten students at Parker Elementary here in Oakland, one of the Oakland Unified District schools, that made our table signs for us. I thought it was very authentic and very 
organic in terms of the chamber and its work in the community developing political, social, and economic power bases for African American businesses and families. Now that's amazing. You started with kindergartners yes. and here you have also uh, a university president that's involved right. as well. You really covered the gamut today. Yes, and we are so proud of Gene Wade. We're proud of his vision and we support his efforts to have access to affordable, high quality, higher education, which is something that most of us don't have access to. And he referenced that in his presentation, the cost of education. But for a mere $1,300 per term, someone can go to university now, major in business administration with emphasis on finance, governance, start their business, come to the chamber, internship, will help them incubate their business. So it's all connected. It's our power base, it's our empowerment, and we're glad to be a part of it. I, I noticed you said uh, come to the chamber as well, so there is that partnership that's happening. Absolutely. We are partnering with, in three different areas, education, finance, and technology. Our educational partner, University Now, will help and assist the chamber in developing a pipeline of interns for our business owners that can't afford a full-time employee but can do something part-time, can mentor. Mentorship is important. Our new relationship with Comerica Bank will create access to capital and affordable loans. And we also have some other programs coming out of that which we will do a press release hopefully with Right Enterprises around those programs. And lastly, technology. We're looking to our technology partners to help us streamline the process to communicate and engage businesses and education in our communities. Now what's the best way uh, for people to get involved, to find out about the chamber? Do they pick up the phone? Do they go to the internet? Do they walk into your office? How do they access you? Well, you can always call us. We're online. Uh, walking into the office may be a little difficult. It's a secured building. However, we are quite responsive and available. Our offices are open 8 a.m. to 5. Our number is 510 or 510-268-1600. And our website is www. Oh, oh, excuse me, oaacc.org. I started early this morning. Yeah. Yes, um, we're going to make sure that we have that on the screen as well. Thank you. And everything. And, and speaking of your, your, your location, it's in the historic Tribune Tower. Yes. That's amazing. It is. We find it quite amazing that that very building was uh, picketed by young people uh, back in the 60s to protest the Oakland Tribune itself for not hiring minorities, not just African Americans, but minorities in the Bay Area. And once that building was also owned by an African American man, and now the chamber, along with Congresswoman Barbara Lee, has their offices there. Now that um, brings up, you said Congresswoman Barbara Lee, yes. how tremendous. Uh, she was here today and just really um, just brought such presence uh, to the whole event. Any thoughts on her? Theme? Oh, absolutely. It was more than an honor. She must be second to my chairman, the busiest person in Hollywood. And to take the time out in an election year when getting people out to vote, getting people registered to vote is probably her focus and priority at this point. She took the time out and shared an hour with us and we are most grateful. She is a historical hero in her own right and we appreciate every bit of service she has done for Oakland and this nation. You know, uh, I'm sitting here and I'm listening to you and I'm looking at you and I'm, I'm thinking about what a brilliant woman. I mean, you look brilliant, you uh, are very erudite, and after such a long day hosting for over 400 people, yeah. you're amazing. So let me just say that. Thank you. And then, um, is there anything else that you'd like to say? I would like to say that the Oakland African American Chamber welcomes everyone. We are African American by biological designation, but everything that we have done as African Americans in this country has been on behalf of all people of color. And we recommend that you engage us, come and see what we can do and how we can't get along because we have more in common than we do differences. So I wish everyone great success in whatever idea they're trying to develop. And if you're having hiccups, give us a call.
and you'll be there to help. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so very much for your time. Thank you.